Disclaimer, on this video, I am going to bust Tom's chops from Tom's guy. Now, with that being said, let me tell you, I admire him. He's one of the smartest guys in the industry right now. However, he did say something wrong, so here it goes. Hey guys, this is Jordi from 4.3dprinting.com. Today, I want to talk to you about proximity sensors. What brought this on is that about two months ago, Tom from Tom's Guy put a video called Sensor Showdown. And he had, you know, Mythbuster styles. His sixth myth was could you or could you not trigger these particular sensors with aluminum foil or aluminum tape. His result is that you could do it with entire roll, I mean with a thick piece of aluminum, but you couldn't do it just with the paper or the aluminum foil. I want to try that for you, alright? So let's get started. For test one, I have hooked up our, my 4 millimeters to a 12, power, 12 volt power supply. And I'm going to do just what he did. The first thing he said is that if you had the entire roll, you can make the sensor sense it. Like and by that I'm going to refer, you can make the sensor trip. If you hear me say that, that's what I mean. You can see the light and you can see the distance in between the sensor and the actual aluminum roll. So now, the part that say, he said didn't happen is if you cut a piece of these, just again, and if you have grabbed the sensor, it wouldn't trigger because there wouldn't be enough aluminum. And as you can see, the distance remains the same and it's still tripping the sensor. So now to take it a little step forward, I figure well, why not use household aluminum foil. As you can see, it also triggers. So what we're going to do now is we're going to test number two and figure out what the results with that. Maybe all sensors are different. That's number two. I'm gonna try the six by 36 volts, eight millimeter sensor. Again, you're gonna start where he started. Now you can see there's a huge difference in between the distance that takes it to trigger. All right, and now I'm gonna do again single sheet and as you can see it triggers right about the same distance again I don't have any calipers for I don't have any object that I can show you specifically because I don't have anything as clear and eight millimeters but you can see it's triggering and the last test as always we're gonna grab our come on household aluminum foil and it triggers just the same so for test three I'm going to show you this particular sensor. Now, because I have this sensor attached to my actual machine, why show you flashy lights? Let's go ahead and make an actual test. I'm going to put this piece of glass, which is from another one of my printers where I'm very attached to, right here, and I'm gonna see if I can trigger the sensor just with aluminum foil and with the aluminum tape. Now, there is risk involved in these. If my calculations are wrong, I am going to break this piece of glass, which is, and I'm going to break my printer. So again, this is how much faith I have in these sensors. So let's try that. Time to put my money where my mouth is. This is the bed from another one of my printers, which I'm attached to. And this is a sensor from my printer right now, which I am super attached to. So what I'm gonna do, is you see this piece of glass right here? Again, this has PEI on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the aluminum foil. I am going to stick it to the bottom side of my glass. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna put this offset, I'm not gonna put it beneath the nozzle because remember, my machine is already calibrated for a certain distance. But, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my little helpers here hold a piece of glass for me. And as you see, I'm just 
right out of the reach of my nozzle, but I'm still right under the sensor, and I'm gonna go ahead and send it. Pull. Oh, look at that, it worked. Maybe it was a fluke. Nope, it seems to work. So now I'm gonna take a step farther. I'm just gonna grab aluminum foil, and I'm gonna have my little friend here hold the glass and the aluminum foil at the same time. I'm gonna make sure that my nozzle is completely clear. And I am going to do the same test again. And as you can see, that was just aluminum foil. So, if you guys want me to do some different kind of test, I could. But, as you can see, it will trigger. One of the things that I found really funny, let me disappear from camera for a second, is this box from the aluminum foil has some type of metal to make this shine. And one of the things that I found really funny when I was uh, playing with the fangs is like, it will actually trigger your sensor. So there is a lot of metal in there or enough aluminum, I don't know what the metal that they made, the cardboard, like to make the color, but there's enough of it to trigger your sensor. So Tom, I'm sorry to debunk in this one, Maybe your sensors are your soul, or maybe, just maybe, not all sensors are the same. However, every sensor that I own, which they're all from Amazon and AliExpress, they all seem to work. So with that being said, I hope this video is instructional. It's just not to bust Tom. It's to teach you that there is very easy ways to auto-level the bed, and not everybody has all the knowledge. Have a good day. However, before you leave, let me remind you, everything you do, do it as you are doing it for God. Nothing else really matters if you don't. And keep your glass clean, keep on 3D printing.